Have you ever done poorly on a test, even though you tried really hard? Have you ever struggled to learn a difficult concept, no matter how much effort you put in? In these situations, you might be tempted to just give up. That's where something called grit comes in. Grit contributes significantly to achieving our goals. It can improve the performance of students, influence the probability of them graduating, and increase achievement in the workforce. So, what exactly is grit? A widely used definition is that it is a combination of perseverance and passion for long-term goals. It is about consistently pursuing an ultimate concern, a goal that you deeply value and will continue fighting for, even if there are obstacles and failures. For example, let's say your goal is to become a psychiatrist in Canada. To achieve this goal, you will need to complete four years of undergraduate education, four years of medical school training, and five years of psychiatric residency training. Without grit. You might be inclined to give up along the way. Grit can have some amazing benefits and is a really important skill in life. So, how do you develop grit? How do you become grittier? Well, there are a number of things you can do. Firstly, it is important to define our long-term vision and short-term goals. Having a long-term vision is helpful in deciding what is important. It does not always have to be career focused, like being a psychiatrist. It can also be something like running a 10k marathon. Once you have your long-term vision, you can then come up with short-term goals that lead you to achieve that vision. Even if you fail at achieving some of your short-term goals, remembering your long-term vision can give you the strength to try again. A growth mindset can help with reaching your long-term vision. First developed by Dr. Kara Dweck, a growth mindset is a belief that we have the ability to improve and grow our skill set. It is the idea that failure is not fixed or permanent, and that you can always develop your talents through effort and dedication. For example, if you weren't able to stick to your running plan for three months, instead of thinking "I'm not good at this." Try to reframe your thinking by asking, "How can I become better?" When you don't see any progress, instead of thinking, "I can't do this and I give up," try thinking, "Let me try something else, or maybe I can give this another try." When you are stuck, it can be helpful to brainstorm ways of solving the problem with your friends, your family, your teachers, or TAs. Looking at things from a different perspective may show you solutions you had missed, and this can lead to an aha moment. It can also be helpful to remember times in the past when you have overcome challenges to give you hope and confidence that you will also be able to achieve your goals this time around. For example, winning a major sports competition, or studying really hard and getting into your dream school, UBC. Last but not least, the people around you can play a major role in influencing your beliefs and behavior. If you surround yourself with people who are determined to achieve their goals, their actions and values can rub off on you. Thank you for watching. We hope this video is helpful. Be sure to take a look at the links and handouts below for additional resources. For more helpful toolkits, check out our website at learningcommons.ubc.ca or follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ubclearn. Good luck.